Hey guys, it's Paul House of No Gimmicks and in this video I'm showing you how I mastered the track Phone Stress by Busy Signal. So before we dive into the session, let me tell you that um, you don't have to overthink mastering. On YouTube I see a lot of people telling you you have to use 20 plus plugins to master a song and I'm showing you that you merely have to use EQ and compression to uh, master this song. And in fact about 90% of my mastered songs are just containing uh, EQ and compression. So have a look at it, subscribe to this channel and enjoy the video. So as you can see I've got three files here. The mastered one the loudness matched mastered one and the unmastered one. And I matched the loudness by ear uh, of the mastered file with the unmastered one to uh, be able to make better decisions. And decisions and mastering shouldn't be uh, based upon loudness of the song, but uh, on the sound itself. So let's hear a bit of the unmastered file and then I'm going to switch over to the loudness matched mastered one and I'm going to take you through all the steps. That's it. it. Me wife find a draws na me room. I fit thing fast cause me know what say me doom. I fit try me best fit convince her. Say me buy her that from last year doom. She never believe nothing when me say. So me tell her the truth before she start assume. Me say be a big calm down. She say she want to know. She want to know what go on in the room. So me say. Girl call me phone. Say she want some loving. Me say come make me fix things. Ah. Her man not treat her right. So she call and beg me fi fix things. Ah. She and her friend them apart. Five girl a and this is the uh, final version. Me wife find a draws na me room. I fit thing fast, cause me know what say me doom. I fit try me best fi convince her, say me buy her that from last year doom. She never believe nothing when me say, so me tell her the truth before she start assume. Me say be a bit calm down. She say she want know, she want know what go on in the room. Okay, so what did you hear? You could clearly hear some loudness differences between the mastered version and the unmastered version, okay? But what did you hear between the loudness matched mastered version and the unmastered version? Let's find out. And let's work with the real mastered one. I'm taking you uh, through all the steps. Let's mute all the plugins that I've used. And the first plugin is just a trimmer to reduce some of the loudness so that I would gain some more headroom to work with. So then there is an EQ and uh, what was apparent to me um, upon first hearing that there was some muddiness going on and most of the times you will find the muddiness around 200 Hz and this is what we are going to take out now. I'm a not treat her right, so she call and beg me to fix things. She and her friend them up. Also, I boosted some 88 um, to give it some more punch. A friend them up. Real girl is like me. Me not drop. And I also boosted some of the very low bass frequencies, which are pretty important for this uh, type of genre of music. And I also boosted some 3K, uh, which is the presence area. Let's hear how it sounds in solo. And as you can see on the meters here, there's nothing crazy going on, just uh, some tiny moves here and there, 1 dB here, 2 dB there, nothing really too crazy going on. And as you can see, I use the linear phase mode and mastering to not get any uh, phase problems. Next up is uh, the BX2, and I used some MS technique for this, uh, some uh, mid and side technique. And as you can see, I boosted some top end just on the stereo uh, field and also I gave the track some more uh, stereo width in general so let's hear it without and then I'm going to put it in very 
very, very subtle move, right? As you can see, it's not about the crazy moves in mastering. You want to respect the producer's work and uh, the mixing engineer's work. Just take it to the next level with some tiny moves here and there. Next up, I used some additional EQ where I boosted some more highs, some lows with um, yeah three different EQs. Let's see it without and then I'm going to put it in. My friend them a bar, five gala them plus me that are six things. Hey, a real gal is like me. Me not drop the kitchen and go miss things. Me send me phone just a, every second it, every minute it. Them a mad me. As yeah, that's the air that uh, we were missing before. But um, as you boost those highs, um, you often get into trouble with those harsh S's. So why not use a de-esser um, in mastering? Here we go. I'm showing you which uh, frequencies I'm taking out. A real girl is like me. Me not drop the catch and go miss things. Me send me phone just a, every second it a, every minute it a, in my mad me. And a de-esser is uh, nothing more than a multiband compressor, uh, which you can apply for certain uh, frequencies. Um, a special thing I used for this track, as I felt we need some more very low frequencies that um, I felt were missing in this track. Um, I used a slight portion of um, distortion for the low frequencies, some drive as you want. Let's hear it in solo. And I mixed those in with a mix knob, you can see here. So just um, a tiny bit of extra low end drive tape distortion. Okay. I'm a not treat all right, so she call and beg me for fix things. She and her friend them apart. Five gala them plus me that are six things. Hey, a real gal is like me. Me not drop the kids and go miss things. Me send me phone just a, every second it. And the last one before the limiter is some more a multiband compression. Uh, when I use a multiband, I often just use three bands. I don't go overboard with multiband compression, which can also be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. And um, what I did, I also boosted some um, some volume before I hit um, the limiter. So let's hear it. Big Okay, now it gets loud. Um, I'm not slamming it, but um, let's hear exactly uh, how loud we're getting. I think around 9 LUFS. Come make me fix things. Uh, I'm a not treat all right, so she call and beg me to fix things. Uh, she and her friend them apart. Five gala them plus me that are six things. Uh, a real gal is like me. Me not drop the kids and go miss things. Me send me phone just a, every second it a, every minute it a, in my mad me. As a gun them a, I love Okay, to round it up, um, we went from here. As a gun them a, all your friend them a, them a call me. To here. And them a, all your friend them a, them a call me. Girl, yeah, about the touch and get jealous. So me tell her, cock up and set things. Hey, she want go up on her head and tip on her toe. So me give her the best things. Hey, girl, broad like me range over a van, pan, low profile. Okay, guys, I hope this insight was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe here. Leave me your comments. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.